Wow. I mean, one, two, three, go. Sorry. I missed my line. I'll be docked for pay. Now, this film, No Roy, The Curse, has to be one of the best Japanese horror movies I have ever seen. And this is coming from a guy I've seen Juon, I've seen the mini movies, uh, Juon the first one and Juon the second one. I've seen Tomi, uh, the first one, uh, uh, what else have I seen? Uh, I was, got, I was about to watch Uzumaki, then, um, something turned up, I was too busy to watch that, but, uh, but the Roy, uh, this is awesome. This movie is fantastic. This movie is a documentary. It's it's not real at all. It, it it's 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 in the same kind of thing as in you would say uh Blair Witch uh Blair Witch Project and uh Record or uh Quarantine or like any kind of first person thing, but it doesn't really play upon that until the very end of the kind of like <sighs> running, 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 running. Running, running, first person view. Um, no, it doesn't play up until that till the very end, but it it really does need it. it. It really justifies it at the end, but the whole like first two thirds of the film is a documentary style of a of a Japanese journalist who is fascinated by the supernatural. Uh, not so much a uh, cryptozoologist, but does uh, supernatural kind of things like say. Uh, ghosts or fables or things like that like people are experiencing and this um this journalist uh is going around uh the city uh doing all these different separate events and they somehow connect in the end which I'm not going to spoil to it um I'm probably going to leave a link which will uh will probably take you to the where I saw the film itself it's a, it's a website it's called asianhorrors.com and it is awesome uh, it's great. Um, check it out. Uh, but but on with the review. That's uh, still going, which I stopped it. Pitch <laughs> something. But um, I gotta say, this movie is fantastic. It just intertwines. It's totally creepy. I, I must warn you, it is a slow burn movie. And um, and if you're a, a long term kind of fan of Spoonie, the Spoonie experiment, Noah Antweiler, as I am. I'm not him. I wish I was him, but still. <laughs> Which geek nowadays does not. But, um... But, uh, he did a review of this on one of his vlogs, and he said he didn't like it, so it was too boring. But I didn't think he was scary, but, um, I don't think he really was, uh, enamored by it, which I was. I was just, like, totally into it. It just, like, I watch this at, like, near nighttime. I, I think I, I told his Darth Jones, uh about it, and I sent him a link, and I told him, like, watch this, it's like Blair Witch, but, you know, in a documentary form, it's awesome. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet, but, um, I, I hope he does, he, he's a good guy, check him out, um, but, uh, but, uh, this film is, is, it's a slow burn, I must warn you, but, uh, it's really worth it, it's, uh, the ending is a payoff, it is creepy, it is really kind of neat, it's really back your neck tangle, tingling kind of freakiness just, at the end of this movie I was sweating from the revelation and all that I was like holy shit a movie made me sweat because it just fucking just dog piles you of like creepiness and awesomeness at the same time this is a great film um I'm probably going to continue watching more uh, Japanese horror films you you if you're a, a lawyer I mean not, not a lawyer Loyal follower. I doubt there's any out there, but <laughs> who've seen my J my Japanese gore police review, um, they all know that um, this is totally different from that. That that was mostly just all the shock value of special effects and gross shit. This is more so a psychological and supernatural kind of uh, get into your mind's eye of your soul and just fucking scare the shit out of you kind of stuff. But that was just like gore and just like ugh, just like puke. This is fucking gross. But this is more so just, you know, much more of a higher brow, you could say. And I loved it. Uh, I give this, fuck, oh, I want to give it a 10. I want to give it a 10 so bad, but fuck it. 10 out of 10. This gets a 10 out of 10 for, for a horror movie I've seen alongside this. This, probably other horror movies would come maybe close to this. would be like Day of the Dead or uh, the 
or uh, Dark Knight, uh, not the Dark Knight, but Dark Knight the Scarecrow walks, or the Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, or, you know, something in that and that, but, um, of my personal things, you know, these not facts, it's just personal opinions and tastes and all that, but, um, check this out, this is an awesome movie, I'll put a link definitely, and I, I give this size or make edition 10, 10 out of 10 of pure, just, horror and awesomeness, um, it's fantastic. I haven't said that well. This is fan fucking tastic. Um, uh, but um, best time watches that night. Get yourself comfy. Have a cup of tea with you or coffee or whatever. Uh, just get cozy and just like experience it, you know, in a dark room or something. Because this is great. Um, <laughs> there's nothing really else to critique. Uh, I'm just like praising the hell out of this. So um, may the force of evil, hopefully. Hopefully. This is really, this is the only time this actually has literal meaning to what I'm saying to the film, because there are forces of evil in this fucking film. <laughs> May the force of evil become confused on the way to the house. Bye.